Hi, I'm Wayne White, and uh, I've been drawing all my life. In fact, drawing is probably one of my earliest memories, sitting around uh, getting attention for drawing from adults and other kids. It's just who I've been, you know? It's my default position. Uh, why? I don't know. Is it neurological, psychological? It's probably a combination of both. I know I've been doing these abstract drawings since I was about the fifth grade when I made the discovery, which I thought I had discovered on my own, that drawing doesn't have to be in, about anything else but about drawing. It can be about the act of becoming a drawing, like some kind of testament or record of playing a game on a page, of making shapes come alive. And uh, I'm still doing those same abstract drawings today. I would say when I do one, it takes a kind of compartmentalized state of mind. You have to be like mainly three types of people. You know, the the num the the most obvious one, of course, is the uh, the spiritual. You know, I'm going to like uh, find some kind of energy of the cosmos, and I'm going to be instant. I'm going to be inspirational. And I'm, I'm going to be. Uh, spontaneous and this is going to flow out of me as a spiritual being it will reflect something about the cosmos blah 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 well accordingly enough i sort of believe that and that's in my head and then another thing is the technical you know just getting the shapes and lines and marks down the page that work you know like this shape looks best next to this shape the designer you know the graphic uh what looks good and what sings what sparks that's going on and then the anarchist, the one that says, you know, that's like, a, this is boring. You know, that's the same old solution. What if we did this? Or what if we uh, colored in this area like this whole thing was just a coloring book? And of course, the spiritual side says, no, it's not a coloring book. It's something deeper. And the anarchic, the, anar the anarchist says, fuck you. We're, we're going to do this. You know, we're going to go against the rules. You know, the rule breaker, very essential part. So those three people are living inside of me simultaneously while I'm doing this drawing. And I think that's the secret and power of art is that it combines opposites. It creates different paradoxes. It creates a paradox of simultaneous conflicting things that all happen at once. And when you look at it, all of those, those, that paradox, that simultaneous, simultaneous um, feeling comes at you. And that's sort of the, uh, electricity and the nuclear power of art is that simultaneous push and pull of all these things. And those three compartmentalized guys are living in my brain when I do these drawings. You know, it, the mark or the shape or the line, that's in your head first. That's you, supposedly you. But the minute you put that mark or the shape or the line down on a page, it's not you anymore. It's something else. It's living on the page in front of you and it's talking back to you. And suddenly it's not all about you. It's about this new Frankenstein you're creating and it's talking to you and it's telling you what to do. And that's a special kind of voodoo I think that artists, all artists believe in is that the object that they're creating in this case a drawing is alive and it's talking to you and you're having a dialogue with it. And uh, it's a collaboration, you know. It's also a game about free will you know recently there's a discovered that uh, the human being has no free will everything is kind of pre-programmed and we're just kind of these uh, meat puppets that are just in, enslaved to uh, some kind of program and i like to think that drawing and art making is kind of uh, trying to fool the machine within you know trying to trick myself into doing something the machine wants me to do but I'm going to do uh, I'm going to do the opposite of maybe that's just the machine too I don't know but it's it's this poor animal trying to break out of this idea of pre-programming you know trying to fool the machine and break on through to the other side I don't know if I do or not but you can look at these things and you can decide thanks I'm Wayne White